you keep the game like a setup. Gotta switch lanes like a fed up. Never take a bitch away, lay up. All the bitches easy like a lay up. Yeah, she look good, but she has nothing going. I swear that it feel like the first day of summer. But that's when you know it be showing again. That's when that money be flowing again. That's when them bitches be going again. Yo, Tay, what's the word, bro? This truth teller from We Are the Truth Tellers. How about the deal, bro? What's going on? Man, I'm cooling, bro. I appreciate you giving me a chance to chop it up with you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, the fans are always saying, bro, truth, you got to get up with Tay, man. You got to holler at Tay, bro. So we finally linked, bro. I want to ask you a few questions about this music shit, bro. I recently just seen you drop the new video, bro. First day out, man. I wanted to know was that something you got that you put together when you got out, or was that wrote while you was locked up? Um, that actually it was wrote when I was locked up, but I had kind of added to it and took things out and you know based on what I really did when I got out. You feel me? So that was the whole It be a lot of shit on people's minds when they locked up, though, bro. Was it hard putting songs together and shit up in there? You ain't had no beat? Did you have to use, like, your hand to make a beat or something? Yeah, what's so crazy is, you know, me, like me, you feel me? I never had to write music. You feel me? I just had to just do my thing. I just had to write my shit. You feel me? You a rapper, you don't never write, you feel me? I just tell them, like, for what they be coming to me, you feel me? So, right. when, I, when I did finally start writing, it was kind of hard, and I got to, then I had to get, start getting a hang of them, you know, first day out, it's a bad type of tempo song. Right. It's hard to write songs like that with no beat, so when I got out and I recorded, it was kind of, I mean, when I, I got out, it was kind of hard for me to even, you feel me, like, find right. a beat to go to it, you feel me? And then I ended up finding it one, Google reality, shooting me some shit. That sounded like it was perfect. He came in with me up. Right. That shit dope, too, man. I checked it out. It seemed like a pretty dope single, too, bro. I want to know something else, big guy. A lot of the fans are always asking me about D-Rose, bro. And I seen you posted a picture about D-Rose a little while ago. Have you spoke to him? He's still in good spirits and shit? <laughs> we still up on this ill block. Late night, me and maintain. You know, they was just shooting at our legs of King David. You know, shit. Yeah, I spoke to D-Rose, actually. Yesterday, I spoke to him. I was having some words with him because Vaughn had called me. But yeah, he called my phone personally. He's definitely up in good spirits. You feel me? Ain't nothing stopping bro from you feel me doing. He's still on the mission. You feel me? Bro ain't gave up. So you did. Right. Bro, I see the world is so in love with L.A. Capone. Everywhere I go, I see videos of L.A. Capone. I see people talking about L.A. Capone. Can you kind of give me some inside look on how was he? Because I don't see a lot of videos that dictate his personality. I always see him in, like, rap mode. Was he a pretty cool dude? Oh, yeah. The best, probably the coolest dude you ever meet. He probably was too cool. That's the fucked up part. Like, you feel me? He, he was a bull guy. Like, you feel me? You, you didn't even know that bro would, like, Turn up how he be turning up until you bring him out. That's why I like the LA game. He was so much. He was two type of niggas. You feel me? Like, we were savages, but we never was the type of child. I always looked savage to act savage to be mean and be mad. You feel me? Like, we was cool guys. You, got, you dig? So, like, he just, it just, he was a great dude, man. He was a great guy. That was my home, my boy. Right, you know, I be hearing a lot about a guy too. I'm not sure exactly who he is, but I hear a lot of people always saying his name, D Thing. You think you can fill me in on who that is? Is it? Is you hearing D Thing or M Thing? Cause D Thing is dead, M Thing alive. I actually hear both of them. But I hear a lot of people say the D Thing name a lot. I'm not sure exactly who that was. Oh yeah, that's one of that's uh one of the guys, big brother. He actually the nigga who started. Right, you know, I seen you with a lot of people that's in the music business. It seemed like you're affiliated with a lot of people, but a lot of people always ask me, Do you know Keith? Did you know Keith before the fame or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, of course, you feel me? Like, I ain't no new nigga, you feel me? Like, before everybody got rich and got famous, we was all, you feel me? Like, Around each other, you feel me? We all from the same hood. You right. feel me? All we, me and, me and Social went to school together, you feel me? But right. he got on, you feel me? Like, I was still, you feel me? Stuck out here to chill, 
still now. You feel me? But yeah, of course I know him personally. All right, bro. You know that. You know, the violence is at an all-time high in Chicago. Seemed like they broke a record, 750 murders this year. You kind of got a clue of why everybody's so angry and shit out there, bro? I mean, bro, to be honest, bro, I'm going to tell you like this, because you know I mean? I, I use it how that same man, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, I used to, I ain't always been a rapper, you feel know I me? Mean? I used to play with guns and be mad at niggas. There's a lot of shit going on. You feel know I me? Mean? so many shorties coming up, man, like. A lot of these shorties, like, I came home, it was, like, a lot of little young niggas and shit that was, like, 15, 14 and shit. They all, like, came and, like, you feel me? They beat it, they sit on all that shit. They right. just block the shit. So I'm, like, you feel me? They, they, my little cousin, he went on, he telling me, like, man, look, bro, let me get on there with the ops and all this shit. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, shit, do you even know, like, the shit you claim? Or, like, why they in two of them niggas? You feel me? Like, right. you feel me? Because... I'm just telling them, like, damn, for like, so y'all, I'm, well, I'm not even telling them, I'm thinking it, like, damn, so, y'all be really, y'all are young boys, really be on that with them shorties, and they be on that back, y'all, you niggas 14, 15, I don't know why y'all even beat with each other, you been, uh, so, it's just like, a lot of this shit going on, snaps, this motherfucker don't really know what the fuck they doing, what to who for, you feel me, they just feel like it's the right thing, so they going for it, and then the other half is because niggas be hating. A lot of niggas out here get killed because they having something. Niggas ain't having none. Right. A lot of niggas out here get killed. Bitches, you feel me? It's just, it's just a lot of fuck shit at an all-time high. That's why you see killing at an all-time high. Uh, niggas out here, man, that's why I be telling motherfuckers, like, I be fucking with other niggas in other states, and they always be like, man, Joe, when we gonna come out there and say, like, can fuck with you, you always come out here to fuck with us. I be like, man, Joe, you feel me? Like, bro, it's different. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't want to just bring you out here. I wouldn't even, I don't even ask niggas to come chill out here with me, man, because I know how shit is. You feel me? I know when I step out in public and I'm in the in the streets and you feel me, I, I got to rotate a certain type of way to it. If I got three, four, five, six other niggas with me, while I'm rotating, trying to move like a ghost, I can't move like a ghost. I'm exposing myself and I'm exposing them. And worst of all, I'm exposing them and they don't know what's going on. You feel me? So uh-huh. they don't know who to watch or what to watch for. So I be telling them, for like, man, this shit is different. You feel me? It's, it's just real fucked up out here, man. But, like, I'm still here, you feel me? Like, any nigga from Say Right Love is pity. You can tell you that. Right. I'm outside. You know what, Tay, not to cut you off, I want to know, bro, because it seems like everybody in the world know who the hell Tay 600 is, bro. And I see a lot of shit going on in Chicago. Is it safe for you chilling on the corner, bro? Is it safe for you to go get you some food from a restaurant or some shit like that? Well, see, that's another thing. Like, I don't expose myself. Like I said, when I really like move like a ghost, that's really how I move. You feel me? Like, for the most part, you feel me? When, you know, I'm on parole. So, like, right. I try not to put myself in situations where it's going to be shit happening that could send me back to jail anyway. You feel me? Right. So, but, like, when I'm out here in the streets, man, when I rotate, I just try to do everything the smart way. When I get something to eat, I'm doing a drive through it somewhat. Call before I eat. I mean, before I pull up, so when I pull up, my food will be ready. I'll belly in and out and get it, you feel me? Right. And when I'm like, so for the most part, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You ain't gonna see me. You ride down. You ain't gonna see me posted on no corner. I ain't gonna front the move to you. Like, right. that's some shit that I used to do when I ain't had shit at risk or I ain't have nothing to lose. You feel me? Like, I done built, I done built some shit up and I done built some shit where I'm trying to get it to and this shit coming along. You feel me? Like, right. so I, I got a lot at risk. I don't put myself in situations where I'm exposed or Motherfucker be like, yeah, I just seen that bitch ass nigga Tay lacking, you know, nothing like that. Niggas ain't gonna never say they saw me lacking, and if they did see me, I know they, th- I know they know I wasn't lacking. Right, and you know what, Tay? I actually seen it a little while ago, bro. My reporters brought to my attention that you posted a picture on Instagram, and it kind of looked like you was at L.A. Capone Mama restaurant. My face kind of cringed when I seen that. I was a little worried, bro. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, I, I probably was a probably was or it probably wasn't but like see me like with that with that whole thing is like yeah i'm i'm, I'm with everything that got something to do with la and his family and all that i'm like i'm gonna pull up in the restaurant and i'm gonna be in and out and i'll kick it in there with mama la you feel me like i'll put myself at risk not saying i'm put myself at risk but you feel me i'm for the cause you feel me like right. me, and, me and his mama we How'd you keep the game like a setup? How'd you switch lanes like a fed up? Never take a bitch away and lay up. All these bitches easy like a layup. Yeah, she look good, but she has nothing going. I swear that it felt like the first day I seen her.
Zamanı nasıl ne olmuş ona? Nasıl 